Hey, what's up you guys? Um, we are heading out this morning. We thought we'd hang out with you uh, as we go run some errands. Mm -hmm. So, we are getting on the road. We thought we'd tell you guys, you know, A, why we left Mexico, what we're up to. Just gonna do a little vlog today. So you guys are gonna hang out with us as we roll and handle some business. And we'll put you up on everything that we got going on. Yep. But for now, let's get out of here. How much is gas now? That's insane. Bananas is what it is. That's how much gas is. Gas is bananas. Crazy. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just talking stuff. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, you guys, like I was saying, I've uh, got some errands to run today. Uh, gotta take my microphones back, yo. Um, first, shout out to Amazon, man. They make it really easy to return goods. This is a luxury in the States that I had forgotten all about. We're going to a Kohl's to drop off these microphones to go back to Amazon to get the money put back on my card immediately. Um, but anyway, bought these microphones because we needed us some cordless mics. Yeah. Uh, we didn't want to get the industry standard because they were a lot more expensive than the mics that we got. Because we had some dual lavalier microphones, but one of the transmitters did not freaking work. Mm -hmm. uh, so lesson learned. I'm gonna get the industry standard. I'm gonna end up going to get the Rhodes. So you just gotta save up for them. Right. We're gonna save a little bit for a little while longer before we get them mm -hmm. um, because the price it ain't outrageous, but it's a little bit more than I'm willing to pay right now. Um, so that's what we're doing today and again we'll tell you guys all about why we left Mexico, what's up next for us, where we're heading to, um, and what our excitement is all about. But we we heading up out of these United States of America and um, <laughs> see you in a minute. Like I said, we just thought we'd hang out with y'all today and tell y'all about what's going down. Mm -hmm. Hitting our favorite haunts, hit little Target, uh, with the Coles. Look, we're in Panera Bread and it's been years <laughs> since I've been here. So it's nice to just come back to one of, you know, places that we used to come to frequently when mm -hmm. we lived in the States. And we were some Panera people, so. Yeah. Just FYI, which you'll see me snacking on, I got me a blueberry muffin, which I do love. And April got her a fudgy. Brownie. Brownie. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have a little flatbread pizza coming soon also. Well that will be up soon, so I might have to get up and go pick that up, but let's powwow y'all. The reason for the season, the reason we wanted to talk today was to tell you guys why we left Mexico mm -hmm. and where we'll be going. Mexico has been our home for the past two and a half, almost three years, and the funny thing is is that we never intended to stay in Mexico that long to begin with. We originally wanted to just be there for a year. Yep. We loved it. We stayed. Yep. The pandemic happened. Yep. We stayed longer. <laughs> um, but we are ready to continue on. You know, what our original kind of travel plans and just desires were to explore and see more of the world. Period. It is our desire to visit 100 countries before we find the places okay. that we're going to call home. Yes. And it also just so happened that we became more consistent with YouTube while we were in Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's where we got monetized. That's where you see a lot of our footage because we produced the most of our videos in Mexico. That's where we met you guys. Exactly. That's where we met y'all. So um, look, we changed income streams, mm -hmm. um, did some different things. Mexico was really, really good to us. I'm sure it'll be good to you if you visit and you're trying to set up camp there. We did find a pathway to citizenship um, that was doable for us. 
but we didn't feel like it was um, something we wanted to do. Just because we were offered a pathway to citizen citizenship, I don't feel like we had to take that pathway. It didn't make sense to us. We're leaving anyway. Um, if we can get back in, yeah. we get in. Um, we haven't decided that Mexico would be a home. I think if we were considering exploring other parts of Mexico and we wanted to stay there longer, then yeah. It would have made sense to pursue the regularization program for towards the path of temporary residency. And we, you know, we went back and forth on this a lot. Mm -hmm. But with our plans to just continue traveling and as the world continues to open up and countries continue to you know, be a bit looser on their travel and COVID restrictions. Mm -hmm. We thought it was time for us to continue and move on as soon as our tourist permit was up. So we packed our bags after we got over COVID. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know, we caught COVID on our way out of the country. Mm -hmm. um, and came home. And we are uh, using this as a reset. Uh, getting my computer fixed, mm -hmm. seeing family and friends, um, Look, eating getting a Panera. Clothes and shoes <laughs> that are hard to get in different parts of the world mm -hmm. because they don't carry our sizes. But that's what this has all been about, and we're ready to decide, you know, where we're going next. Now I got to tell you, it's a scary kind of world now because um, the income stream that we picked up has still not matched the one we left behind. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still trying to finesse it and work on some different avenues and stuff like that. But you know what? We're stepping out in faith and hopefully things are going to work out. Uh, we are seeing the rest of this world, y'all. We have like 80, 81, 82 <laughs> lot, countries to, to see. <laughs> um, and we're getting started, you guys. We're catching a plane in a couple of days. And here's the capper. We don't know where the hell we're going. We really don't, you know. There's been this kind of mantra that we've lived whenever we visited a place which was called like no reservations. When we were on vacation, we weren't committing to taking a tour here or scheduling, scheduling a strict itinerary there because we wanted to make room for spontaneity, room to, to do what we want to do. do things that we wanted to do, so. Yeah, we talked to you guys a couple weeks ago and you told us that Uruguay was a place to make it to. Mm -hmm. You told us that Ecuador, we gotta go there. Mm -hmm. So those are hard on our list. We're gonna make it there. So those two places for sure. Everything else is up in the air. Everything is up in the air. Even how we're getting there, because honestly, we're looking at you know what are the cheapest tickets from where we are in the states mm -hmm. to Central America, and you know do we have to make it to Ecuador via some other country first? There are two countries we have in mind right now. And they're not countries that we had planned to visit. We want to get eventually to Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and we want to get to uh, Panama. After that first leg, we're going to head over to Ecuador, then we're going to go into Ugre, and then into Argentina. <clears throat> so, here's the deal. We are in Cleveland, Ohio. A plane ticket from Cleveland, Ohio to Costa Rica is about $420. Uh, plane ticket to... Um, Panama is about 360, 370. Right, so, so we've looked at some flights from where we are now to um, some of the cheapest cities that even came up, which we didn't necessarily plan to go to, mm -hmm. but those cities were San Salvador and El Salvador and Guatemala City. So those were not on our list, but we're gonna go there because- We might. Getting to the other places, um, Costa Rica, um, Panama, only costs like $90 a ticket from there, so those are our intentions. But now we don't know which one of those two, Guatemala or so El Salvador. So that's a decision that we're going to be making in the coming days. And in the coming hours, right? In the now. coming hours, but then we'll be making that trip in the coming days. Mm -hmm. So if you're following us and you're going to be watching us go through this process of, yep. of figuring out, you know, life after Mexico. So uh, all of this is going to be posted uh, as we go through it on our Instagram. We're making decisions and we want to include our people. So, you know, you guys, if you don't subscribe, haven't subscribed to us, haven't followed us, mm -hmm. go on over there, nomadic.wonder um, on IG. We'll, we'll be posting what we're going through. Who mm -hmm. y'all. <laughs> really been enjoying checking out all of our old haunts. You know what I mean? The classics, right? Hitting up Target. Look, I don't know who you are and what you're about, but if you are running errands, you ain't got to stop and tell you. Are you really running errands? <laughs> Walking through all the aisles, you know what I'm saying? Right. Goofing around, playing Look, games. Saw a, saw a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you mm -hmm. know, different places that you just kind of miss and you don't really find that type of place in other countries. Yeah, man. Spending money that we don't have. That's exactly. always fun. <laughs> <laughs> but also finding places like Panera. Like mm -hmm. Panera Bread is just one of those places we find ourselves always looking for something similar when yeah. we are visiting different countries and for looking sure. for a place that we can comfortably work and eat. And eat mm -hmm. um, with strong Wi-Fi, 
uh, that's clean, mm -hmm. the food that we trust, um, like Fuck Long. Oh, okay. I love that name, y'all. Fuck you Long dropped it on in me Vietnam. And I was, <laughs> took me a second to catch on to what he was saying. Mm -hmm. It's a coffee shop in Vietnam. Um, and that is it's really cool. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a very Panera esque, right? Mm -hmm. sure. Set up your work, work, your office of the day there, and just enjoy. Um, but one of the main reasons we came back to the states uh, was my computer. You guys, mm -hmm. I bought a powerhouse at the beginning of last year, uh, so I can pump out videos for you guys. And the computer was good for that. But the screen on the computer. So this ghost image overtakes my computer and it gets bigger and bigger. I cannot get my cursor beneath that line and it's on everything. Yeah, it started it malfunctioning mm -hmm. like three months in. So for the past, I don't know, nine or 10 months, shoot, 12, 13 months, I've been like uh, creating videos off of a quarter of a screen. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been really interesting. So we had to come back here because uh, the company was Razor, right? Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. had a particular screen that only they can fix. And you had to come to the States. Or you didn't have to come to the States, but you should have been able to easily mail it from one of their accepted countries. But that proved to be a hassle as well. I cannot begin to tell you. So first off, this is not an endorsement for Razor. This is a, this is a warning. If you mess with those guys, their customer service is butt ass awful. It is the worst. Um, I have been, first off, we went through a lot of different things that we didn't necessarily have to go through. Mm -hmm. But I came all the way back to the United States, got to my computer, and it was supposed to take, it was supposed to be a three day repair. A month later, mm -hmm. I'm still here, and I just got my computer in the mail a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. um, but God is good, so they sent me a new computer, and they sent me a computer that was like a major upgrade for my computer. But I'm telling you, um, you talk about being assertive, a lesson learned here, like nothing ever moved with these guys until I really got in there behind. Yeah. Like I had to write these most the most offensive emails, like, look, XYZ, Elemental P, I will get a just, lawyer involved. It was a lot. So it, it extended lot. our time here longer than we planned. Um, so we, you know, we thought we were just going to be in and out, but it just kept extending and extending. And then we, and a month later, right, we had to <laughs> we're just out leaving out where we're going next. <laughs> we do lives every Thursday at seven o'clock, you guys. And I thought we were going to come here uh, on a Friday. And by that next live, we'd be in another country. Like, guess where we at, y'all? Mm -mm. Didn't work out like that. <laughs> But that's okay, you know, that's a part of the journey, but we're excited to get back on the road. And the yeah. main point is deciding where we want to go next. We have some countries in mind that we want to visit, um, that we want to explore and mm -hmm. do stories about. And it's just, our next step is purchasing that ticket to figure out where exactly we're landing first. Um, the grace of God, y'all, we purchasing that ticket tonight. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on with the Yard Bros. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video we dropped on Sunday. Um, that was a whole lot of fun to do. So look for more of those behind the scenes, little uh, uh, fun loving videos. Mm -hmm. uh, we're cracking jokes pretty much on ourselves and the rest of the uh, <laughs> YouTuber community. <laughs> Nobody is safe. <laughs> um, yeah, man. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We just wanted to drop this vlog out here uh, to let you guys know what's going on. Going to enjoy the rest of our coffee and um, get back to the office. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao. So um, we're leaving Panera's, y'all. Oh, and I got to say, Look, it was a nice experience. The staff there are pretty dope. They saw us with our setup and came over and asked, you know, you some questions, right? Mm hmm Asking us what, what our channel is, uh, what's our content. I thought they was trying to shut us down because out of the States, we got shut down a lot in different places. Yeah. They just wanted to subscribe and told us our content was dope. They looked hey, at us up while we were so sitting cool. in there. Yo, um, shout out to Panera out here. I don't even know what part of the city we in. Out in Cleveland. We appreciate you and <laughs> love the support, man. I love that support. All right, baby.